welcome to Recall Gaming Exploits, and this is the absolutely shite games of 2014. Yes, I'm doing like a game of the year type thing. I've never done one of these before, so yeah, I have no idea what I'm doing. But with that being said, just a couple of things first. I'm only using games that I've played, so people may have played worse games, <coughs> Assassin's Creed Unity. Um, but these are the games that I have personally played and some of them may be liked by a lot of people but I personally didn't have a good time with them and I'll tell you why but let's just say that this list is not going to be like most lists out on the internet I don't think. Well, oh, good luck to me! Number 5 Yes, yeah, so number 5 is Octodad, the deadliest catch. It was a fun game to a point, but as soon as I got to the stealth section it was like hitting a brick wall of no fun. It was just smack, nothing. Done. Done with this game. Haven't touched it. Haven't wanted to touch it ever since. I mean, it was interesting to play such a weird game, but it was just literally for the lol so random crowd and nothing more. There was no essence to the game. There's no substance to the game. It was a game that was built around one joke and to make an entire game out of one joke, it gets rather old fast. I can't keep telling you the same joke for hours upon hours upon hours and expect you to keep laughing at it, can I? So that's my problem with this game. Number four. Wolfenstein the New Order. I know. Shocking. It really is. And there is no footage for this and there is a reason for that so I'm about to tell you why. Uh, I, this is actually a problem that I've had with a lot of games recently and it is kind of hypocritical when you see my uh, absolutely awesome games of the year which will be coming out soon. This is a bit hypocritical me. I know people are going to slap me for that, so I'm calling it now. Hanging a landing on it. Putting a flag up well high. This is hypocritical, but a lot of people love this game, and I can see it being kind of fun. I wouldn't know, because I didn't get to play it for more than an hour without wanting to throw up. It's just another problem that I have with games, and it is a problem that not many people have. Some people do, some people don't. It's like some people get uh, seizures from games, uh, I feel real sorry for those guys. Jesus, I couldn't imagine. But I get motion sick. It's generally due to the field of view. Now, <laughs> the weird thing about me is it works opposite to everyone else. Everyone else needs this really wide field of view to stop them from getting motion sick. If I have a wide field of view, it gets that sort of wide angle lens fish, uh, fish eye effect. I don't know if you know what I mean. But... <laughs> Uh, that causes me to feel sick every time I play something from wide field of view. So I have to play them slightly close off field of view. Also, head bob is a real issue for it, and that's what done it for this game. Because whenever you sprint, it's like bumping up and down constantly. It just feels like you're in a washing machine. And honestly, it's the worst kind of motion thing. It's straight on cold sweats. I can't enjoy the game. Even if the game was fun, I can't enjoy it because I'm sitting there trying not to puke all over my keyboard. Now, it's something that can easily be sorted easily by any developer that all they need is an option in the in the options menu turn off head bob and you're done you're done i had the same problem with alien isolation but i found a fix for that and i haven't found one for wolfenstein the new order but yeah that's why this gets number four and any other game that i encounter has motion sickness inducing head bob will feature on every shite game of the year award so if i ever become a big popular YouTuber, then I'm going to make that issue known. It is my goal in life to make that issue known widely to developers, to get them to stop putting out games that make us want to puke. It's only a small minority of us, I know. Seriously, it's so annoying. Number three. Now, the reason why I chose this game is because games shouldn't have this many issues when you buy them. And a lot of games have been doing it. It's a perfect example of games that are broken out of box. And Call of Duty Advanced Warfare is broken out of box if you're using AMD cards. And I am using AMD cards. Now, I know that people say, oh, you should have got NVIDIA. Yeah, I don't care. The reason why I got AMD is because it's cheaper and I needed the power for money, man. I, don't, <laughs> I was getting this rig from scratch. I had nothing. So this is my building block for the future. And I didn't cheap out on it really at all. And... This game just didn't really work straight away. Tons of issues, tons of issues. And then when I finally got into the game, it was skipping and lagging out as fuck. Now this isn't coming from a small company, it's coming from big companies. Assassin's Creed Uni would be here if it wasn't for the fact that I haven't played it because there's another game that is broken to fuck. And it's unacceptable. Guys, it really is. It's, this shouldn't be happening. You can say that the games 
are so advanced now there's going to be more bugs. More bug testing needs to be done then. I'd rather delay the game up until the summer and not have it in the winter if it means that I can have less bugs. People clipping through walls, lag, constant frame dropping. All of these bugs are just avoidable. So avoidable and they just don't do it. So this game gets my number three, plus the fact that it's just Call of Duty. It's just Call of Duty. This was the one. This was meant to be the Call of Duty that turns Call of Duty around and actually makes it fun. And you know what we got? We got a Poundland Titanfall. And Titanfall in itself is a Poundland Titanfall because on Titanfall, you play mostly against bots. If they made Titanfall just PVP only with bigger teams, it would have been incredible, it would have been game of the year, oh, I'll just take my money. But it wasn't, there was too many bots, the AI was stupid, ruined the game. Now, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare is Titanfall without the wall running. If this had wall running in it, and all the free running parkour type stuff that Titanfall has, then this wouldn't be on this list. After playing Titanfall, I couldn't play Call of Duty. And after playing other FPSs, I against people I couldn't consider Titanfall a competitive multiplayer because it didn't have competitive multiplayer it had shoot up bots multiplayer that wasn't co-op it was just weird and it was a failed experiment but after playing Titanfall with all its parkour and jumping everywhere I could not at all play Call of Duty Advanced Warfare why can't I run up this wall why am, why am I just face by this wall and drag down and aside from that, it was just Call of Duty. Everything's exactly the same. Nothing's been altered in any way, aside from the fact that now you've got boost jumps. I was a bit disappointed, to say the least. But luckily, I didn't buy it. It was a free weekend, so I didn't waste any money. Woo! Number two. I'm not even going to spend that long talking about this one. And I know you've probably been waiting for this since the start of this video. But uh, yeah, number two. The second most shitty game of the year, 2014, is... Watch Dogs. Yeah. Ubisoft's answer to the open world sandbox game. Their comeback to GTA. Their incredibly uncontroversial, bland, boring, grey comeback. Their never ending QTE, quick time event, press X to make the thing do the thing. Simulator 2014 with some shooty guns. It, oh, the cars that drive like they're from the 50s or from some game that was a budget title back in the PS1 era. It just, what happened? Aside from all the graphics and that, the cars felt wrong, the hacking was incredibly underwhelming, the gunplay was just meh. I can't even remember the main character's name. I can't even remember his name because he was so unbelievably tedious you would have to try hard to reach that level of tedium. It'd be an achievement. It would be an achievement. You'd get a bleep blue achievement bottom of your screen for being that tedious. Holy shit. And the melodrama. They tried to make it like the most dramatic game ever released. In amongst spider tanks. I mean, even the most redeeming feature according to most people, the spider tank was boring. Once you've blown up one truck, that's it. Oh, I've blown up a thing. I can blow up things. Woo. Okay. Everything could have been done better if they focused. But it didn't seem focused. It just seemed like they, they tried a couple of things and then went, ah, that'll do. And this game's going to be in development for years. What the fuck were you doing, Ubisoft? Number one. Okay, so the absolutely worst or most disappointing game of 2014 that you could consider or describe as shite. It's actually just one. I really didn't want to put this game here. I was thinking about putting Starbound because it literally didn't work. But that's still in early access. And I still haven't got to play that game yet. I haven't got past the start menu. So that could have gone here. But I didn't want to put it here because technically I still haven't played the game. This game I have. And I played it through early access. And I played it after early access. So it has actually completed early access. This has seen its full release apparently. And I'm disappointed to hell about... Contagion. Yeah, I really enjoy this game. I do. I like playing it. I still enjoy it to this day. But it is still broken in places. There are still bugs everywhere. And there is a lot of features that just didn't come to fruition. The game itself seems to be a lot smaller than what was promised to us. 
When I heard that Contagion had breached its full release and then played it to find that nothing had really been added to the game since the last time I played it, I felt utter crushing disappointment. I had such high hopes for this game. There weren't really any new levels, there weren't really any new items, uh, there wasn't really any sort of stabilisation, the menus were still janky as hell. It wasn't what I hoped for. What I hoped for was Left 4 Dead 2 with slow zombies and I did get that but it's had next to no popularity. Last time I looked the server's basically empty, there was no one playing, the only people that I can play with are on my friends list and they don't play it that often and it, it's a shame because there is some huge potential here but the developers just didn't follow it through for whatever reason, they might not have had the funding or the time or whatever, I mean this is the problem with early access in indie games and I know other people have been stung by this as well, much harder than this. But yeah, so, all in all, what can we learn from 2014? Well, we can learn that microtransactions are bad. Luckily, I've managed to avoid that to high heaven, but the amount of horror stories I've heard is unreal. We've also learned to be very, very, very wary of early access. And luckily, people are starting to wake up to this fact and are not just throwing their money at the most broken piece of shit ever. So, yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching Recall Game Next Voice. I hope you've enjoyed this. And I'll be back real soon with the most awesome games of 2014. Thank you for watching and goodbye.